The small bearing clearance should be between 0.0 to 5 and 0.030. We measure the large bearing clearance at 0.0 to 5. Let's check the standard specifications for the required crankshaft middle bearing clearance. The clearance for new parts is between 0.0 to 9 and 0.056. Both the large and small bearing clearances are within the standard specifications. by thirst i'm inspired by worth i desire your worst so you can just hide while i work i ain't tired you first i'll write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse you never did sh i know it hurts but something deep inside won't let me The cylinder head bolts should be torqued to 60 newton meters. Then tighten them three times at 90 degrees. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's start with the first 90 degrees. Now the second 90 degrees. Finally, we proceed with the third 90 degrees. The hydraulic lifters have just been cleaned with gasoline. Next, we'll place the lifters. They need to be submerged in our oil cup. Spray them with fresh engine oil. After the lifters are submerged, before the oil is added, they can still be pressed by hand. Once filled with oil, they will become firm and unmovable. Now, we begin the process.
Mercedes-Benz 642 diesel engine. The accessories are now fully installed. We're ready to mount it onto the car. Everyone watching, please wish us luck. The car assembly is now complete. We're ready to begin the test drive. This car's engine should be tested for at least 200 kilometers. Oh